minus one minute. Engine we control go. box and go. Ground report range status. Range range. We got the rocket blessing there. Everything's free for tracking. Fifty. LBO, LCOVM. Third call. Go for launch. Rocket range range. Second phase LH2 secure flight level. Forty. Minus 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go PSB. Go PSP. Minus 15. Rofi ignition. There's the Rofi. 10, 9, this or start. 8, 7, 6, oh. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chat. Oh. Into the clouds right there. Out of the clouds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> Turn down range. Wow. ACS press valve has been opened. ACS pressure. Response looks good. It's still going. Come on, baby. Strap on boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. Wow. And Delta 4 has gone to closed loop guidance. Two minutes, 30 seconds into flight. So we've got about a minute before the two side cores separate. At 2 minutes 39 seconds into flight, the Delta Ford rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. God, you can see it going past the stars in the background, yeah. Chad. And launch vehicle is now 33 miles in altitude, 49 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. 4,500 miles per hour. side core boosters. Trajectory continuing to look good down the middle of the range track. Look how fast that thing's moving. Two minutes remaining, the boost is flight. Chamber pressure is continuing to look good on all three boosters. Port and starboard booster on the full thrust mode. Yeah. Booster continuing in the partial thrust mode. Yeah, I got it. Mode. Down 
Yep. And we have Jason above strap on booster. Woo! Refer booster strap back up to full thrust. Response looks good. Yeah, you still hear it. Four minutes, 25 seconds into flight. So we've got about a, a minute remaining in that uh, core Upper stage of burn. Upper stage system has begun boosting till down sequence. And one minute remaining in boost stage of flight. This is the pinpoint of light out there now. see the two side cores flipping through the atmosphere periodically when they really? angle back here. Yeah. Five minutes into flight. Just over three seconds now remaining in first stage first stage phase of flight. Can I breathe? First engine continues to look good in the full thrust mode. I can I can breathe now, right? No, the cloud. where DCSS takes over. It's extending, it's extending the bell. And we have ignition on the RL-10 engine. Yes! Nice! Engine chamber pressure looks good. <laughs> so this, uh... Yeah, yeah. So, um... What, what we just saw was a, a good staging, which means we are on to the second stage, a very critical uh, element of flight. So this her, the second stage, the Delta Cryogenic Second Stage, or DCSS, will fly until about 10 minutes, 30 seconds after liftoff, at which point it'll shut down and uh, the rocket will enter a coast phase for about 12 minutes thereafter. Yeah, if you see it, tell me and I'll zoom. Yeah, I, I will, I haven't yet. And this first burn of the second stage will last approximately 4 minutes 42 seconds. Now 7 minutes 30 seconds into flight. About 3 minutes remaining in the first burn. <laughs> can't breathe easy yet. <sighs> The, the, to the total launch phase will last for about 43 minutes from liftoff to spacecraft separation. And uh, once the spacecraft separates, we can we can start to breathe easy. But then the real work for the spacecraft begins, because uh, then they've got to start powering up the spacecraft, getting it all checked out. And so, yeah. how much how much more time do we have in this phase? About two and a half minutes. About two and a half minutes Until remaining. Until the second stage shuts down after the end of its first burn. Yeah. About a 12 minute coast. Okay. Um, with reignition, I believe it's 22 minutes, 22 seconds, a wonderful number for OCD people like me. Right. <laughs> um, in, into flight, the, the second stage will reignite for a 14 minute burn. 14 minute burn, okay. Yes. Um, and then that stage will shut down, separate from the third stage. Uh, and then the, and then the uh, third stage will burn for only 84 seconds. 84 seconds. But will impart two thirds of the total velocity in, uh, to the emission in that 84 God. seconds. It, it really shows the difference between between the velocity that it's escaping with 
and the uh, the amount of energy it takes to escape Earth in the first place. Yes. Because that entire rocket, 95% yes. of the mass of the rocket, the lower boosters, the DCSS, all that is required just to escape Earth. Out of the atmosphere. Just to get out of the atmosphere, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then that upper stage, that Star 48, uh, that is what really kind of kicks it out of the system, sending the rest of the way down to yes. Venus. And, and because we might not be live when that happens, we yep. hope we will be. Yep. But in case we are not, because we will be bused back to the press site, yep. we have no control over that. Um, when uh, what, what you will see on that third stage burn, right, velocity will be increasing. Right. But that is velocity in relation to Earth. To Earth. What that second, what that third stage is actually doing is beginning to slow the Parker Solar Probe down right. in relation to the Sun. Right. So that it can begin its inward spiral toward Venus. No kidding. So the rocket has to get it going really, really fast to then slow it down. To slow down. It's can't. It's canceling out the Earth's orbital velocity is what's going on there, Chad. Okay, we have one minute left uh, in the first burn of the second stage. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the launch loop back on for you guys so we can hear uh, the successful um, SECO, which stands for Stage Engine Cutoff. Ten minutes into flight. It's ten minutes into flight right Ten now. minutes into flight. No kidding. And this thing is hundreds of miles down. Oh, range. yeah. And about 30 seconds remaining in the first burn. Alright, how far away do you think are we are from that call? Oh, just a couple of seconds. Just a couple of seconds, yeah. alright. And standing by for Miko one momentarily. Uh, so Miko, in this case, main engine cut off instead of Seco. Yeah. It's like wind engine, which engine is main engine these days? Yeah, right. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> and we have Miko. Yes! There's Miko. <laughs> okay. Body rate's moving out nicely. And now seeing uh, upper stage ACS firing as expected. Fantastic. Excellent. Okay. The ACS is attitude control. Yes. Yeah, to make sure that the uh, the upper stage with the payload on the top of it maintains the right sort of orientation as we go here. Folks, we are going to have to shut this yes. down for now. Uh, do you want to do this right quick? Let's just pop over this way and, roop, and we'll come and, and do we'll this. And we'll come back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's on pop over there side. and just say thanks right quick. Yeah, yeah, pop over to the other side there. And can you do the camera there? All right, cool. Make sure we're good. All right. All right, are we good? Yeah, yeah. Good. All right, cool. We're focused and everything. Um, what do you think of that? <laughs> well, uh, well, we promised you it would take off on fire, and that yeah. was one heck of a fireball. I was it? worried. I was worried that I wasn't going to start following the rocket because it was just all the entire yes. screen was just the flame festival. The flame. All the hydrogen burn off, and then the rocket starts, and I'm like, oh, there it goes. <laughs> you know, n n nothing ever beats a rocket launch, oh, and, no and kidding. it doesn't matter what rocket it is. They are all absolutely exciting. The Delta IV Heavy is just an absolutely amazing vehicle. It's the first time I've seen it. That's oh, so oh, cool. And 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 this was its tenth flight. Yep. I mean, it never it never gets old. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've lived in Florida I, since you know I was born here. Yeah. Um, so for 30 years, I, I remember my parents holding me in their arms and walking into the backyard to watch rocket launches. No kidding. And it is never not goosebumps, like, man. It is never not an exciting, like heart pounding moment it's when you're in you that experience. final few seconds of oh, the countdown yeah. and when the rocket lifts off. That was absolutely gorgeous. Um, <laughs> just absolutely gorgeous. Yes. I don't even know what to say. Yes. It's, it's, it's we always say like like. Y you're close to Florida, maybe. Uh, maybe you're watching the stream, you know we're near Florida, but if, if you can get to a rocket launch, I know sometimes they're pushed, sometimes they don't go on time. If you can drive four hours, if you can come mm -hmm. down and try to see a launch, if you have the capability to ever do it, do try. It. I know you're busy, you got stuff going on, the, yeah. the kids or whatever. If you could do it one time in your life, it's something you have yeah. to experience. And you know what? To, to that, we know you're busy yeah. with all of that, but you know, I, I always remember what um, the, the shuttle launch director said toward the end of the program. Right. Give us five days and we'll get the rocket in the air for there you. you. Go. So, if you come to Florida, give them five days, but we only needed two. We the, only needed two. At the end of yes. the day, if you're in Florida and the rocket doesn't go, there's the beach and like everything there's else. There's the beach, there's Disney, it's all that stuff. It's like, oh no, yes. we're at the beach. Um, Y'all, thank you so much for joining us this evening. That was a fantastic launch. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Oh, it was gr a great, great show. God. Um, here's the deal. We are gonna go to the AOS screen. We're actually gonna roll the NASA TV, um, but we have to turn this camera off now. So you can keep following the launch. NASA yep. TV is not gonna 
cut away from that broadcast exactly. and, you know, until the spacecraft has separated. So we got that little bit of coast phase right now yes. that's going to fire again. And all that is going to be on NASA TV. Um, thank you so much. Again, Mods, put some of the links in there. Get NASA mm -hmm. Spaceflight links in. Get the articles linked up. Uh, some of the pictures. Twitter accounts. Follow NASA Spaceflight on Twitter. Um, we really appreciate you hanging out. You know how to get back to my channel if you ever want to get back. Mm -hmm. uh, for now, we got to sign off because the buses are loading up. So Are, are we going to re come back live once oh, we back can at the Center? Web, yeah, yes, absolutely. let's do that. Yes. Yeah, we, we should come so back. So we'll be back at a certain point as soon as we can. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. We got to shut it down for now. Thank you so much for joining us. Hang in there, nerds. We'll be back. Step off the camera.